Okay, we're back on the bike here. Someone picked up some uh, skateboard uh, wheels. And back over here. So hopefully they're gonna work. He said they were standard. I passed on the pink ones, I went for the black ones. So, evidently bearings are hard to get right now, so I got my own bearings. So hopefully it all fits together, because I didn't try it yet. Looks like a wheel. Alright, so this all comes apart. Yeah, it looks like the bearings will fit. Press fit, see? Put my finger in the hole. Get our spacer. Another bearing. There you go. Almost works. Okay, we have two washers here. Two washers here. This washer's all chewed up because the chain was hitting on it, so we got another washer. I'm not sure if we need that washer or not, but I got another one. So that just goes like that. And it rotates and the chain goes on it. And doesn't chew it up. So I don't know what happened to the one that was in there, but obviously it disappeared. All right, so that all should work. So I got a new uh, new lock nut. Instead of using the old one here, which looks all right. We'll put a new one on it. And we'll put some blue Loctite on it too to make sure it does not come out. We don't want this to fall off. Okay, so. Put all this stuff under here and let's see how this works. So right now there's a bolt stuck in there. Right there. So everything goes under that bolt right there. So I have to get down inside of the bike here and try to get into there and do it. So let's see if that gives you a view of what I'm working on. So the first thing they had two washers in there. So I'm assuming that was there for spacing purposes. Skateboard wheel. I don't know if that's going to fit in there or not. It looks pretty tight. Uh, looks to me we're going to have a problem. It doesn't fit. Yeah, ain't enough room in there for it. We knew it wasn't going to be that easy. It been too easy, we just bolt one in. So, the wheel's in there. There's a frame rail in front of that it's hitting on. So I don't know if you can see the difference in height of the bolt between where the wheel is and where the bolt is. So there's almost a quarter inch offset between the two. That means this thing needs to drop a half inch in diameter to move it down a quarter inch to put it in there to make it fit. So we need to turn that thing down. <laughs> So I'm gonna go work on the wheel now. So I gotta turn this thing down. Quarter inch to about like this thick here, I guess. So I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do that. So I'm not sure yet. But we'll go figure it out. That's why we have a lathe. Make it work. So I have to figure out how we're going to hold on to this thing to do all this. And get right there in 
front of me. It'd be perfect. So, first problem is you got bearings here that's going to all rotate, so that doesn't hold very well. I could hold on to this, turn it, and flip it around, hold it, and turn it. That's probably the best way of doing it. Not sure how I would hold on to it otherwise. Close it is. It looks like it's turning close enough for me to be true. So we're coming off the center bearing down here. See, it looks like it's pretty concentric. <clears throat> Not really wobbling too much. The uneven wheels moving, but not the actual diameter and everything is consistent. If you look at the bottom of the wheel under here, between here and now, you'll see it's not bouncing. So that hold on to enough that I can just cut it down now. So I'm going to cut it down quite a bit. I'm thinking a good quarter inch ought to do the trick. Okay, so we're 2065 right now. So you got two inch there and a dial 65. So if you knock it down to uh, one and a half inches, that'll be 275 thou per side clearance. Might be enough to do the trick, I don't know. We'll find out. underneath it if it goes up sideways and then you got a strip left door like that when you cut it off. Pretty tough. Alright, so far we go now. Ah, sharp edge. Uh, we're only down to 800. Should be going a lot more than that, but it says we're only about halfway. Cut some more. Thank you. 
That's enough to do what I need. I'm going to cut that tree up because it's not true anymore. Two washes for us for the offset. Stay off the bearing. Cut some more of that too. Cut it down pretty good. We shaved it off flush. So you got the two wash that'll get you off this edge because you only rub it against the frame when you tighten it down. Because this here sticks out way too far. So I'm just going to flip it around, chuck it right here, and turn it back down here to match. And we'll go see if it bolts in and does what we need. We're still a little bit bigger than I think we need to be, but close enough. Better picture maybe over here. I don't know. Yeah, we're too close. We got a picture of that. Yep, too close. Okay, we're about the same distance as the other one. 
I'm going to cut this off here. our port. Pretty rough. Carbide does not like that. High speed will cut this a lot better than carbide. So it's a lot smaller than it was. Hopefully that's enough to do what we need. That made me a nice tire. Look at that. Pretty thick. Big cut. Need that for something later maybe. Alright. Let's go see if it fits. We'll be back.